Hey guys, Robert and Pika Shade here. Mm. As we are not doing a pro teach that's new, but much like when we went over Batman Under the Hood for for Pika's um, move, um, video compa movie comparison. Yeah, Jake for the trilogy. Yep, we'll be going know, over um, because we that felt like we had to say something. We couldn't just leave that hanging without the two of us talking about it. But it's because it's going to become a thing now where if I tell a pro teacher's noob and he's going to do a comparison, Brandon and Jensen do nothing, we're going to do these special videos. So in mm. this case, it's Superman Brainiac for the Superman Unbound. Yeah. And you want me to talk about this off you know, before we got started? What were some of the setups beforehand? Yeah, what something to look, uh, yeah, something to basically to do the introduction to the whole thing. Right. Well, for one thing, this was already around the time after um, in, uh, Infinite Crisis. It's still during that point. Yeah, I'm gonna do a shorthand notes to myself. Yeah, hold on. Let me just let me just um, show a bunch of the issues. So hold on. It's gonna take a moment. Naturally. <laughs> But in the same play, they don't have all of the issues. Oh, that's a classic cover. Covers the atom bomb test. Oh, and there's mm. Supergirl's first appearance. Uh. 252. Talk about a random issue nowadays. Uh. Hold on. Come on. Okay, now we're at post crisis. Yeah, the electric blue era. <laughs> Getting closer. Okay. So this, first we would have Up, Up, and Away, which was basically mm -hmm. the one year later story. Superman had yeah. lost his powers, regained them. Um, then we would have Last Son, which would in, which is when Richard Donner was co-writing with um, with Jeff Johns. And we were introduced, you know, they brought in a proper post-crisis General Zod, not the Phantom Zoner, not some Russian who thinks he is, not the Jim Lee version I was in for tomorrow. No, oh. this was a proper, faithful to the movie General Zod. Yo. That, but that because of the place for that, they would have a bunch of fill-in issues that Busick took over. But then eventually we also got the Bizarro arc, which was it gave us a post-crisis Bizarro world and introduced uh, super, under a blue sun, Bizarro would have Bizarro vision and Superman would have supervision. Super space vision. Yeah, oh, it. Then we had. The yeah, Legion. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull up, pull up, up after Jeff Johns and Richard Donner had reintroduced re the, those, the rules of the Grand Zod. Yep, and gave us Chris Kent. That was the Superman's son before he would eventually have a son. Yeah. Then Jeff would reintroduce but bring um the bizarre world and. Reconnect Superman with the Legion. Yeah. He toyed with it during JLA JSA, but this is the story where we would properly give us and explain, make it very clear that the Legion we would have was a. It's basically the what if the pre five, um, five year later Legion continued on, and we never had the five year le later Legion stuff. That's basically the version of the Legion he came up with. Ignore the five year later stuff and then say what happened. Like they, those kids, those, that version continued to age. Okay, I'm gonna just simplify that. Okay, I that's know, I, I, as, as, a, as, a, this, as, as, as said, post game free cry, Superman got his powers back. Jeff Chant and Richard Donner had reintroduced the true Zod and introduced Chris Kent. Bizarro and Legion of Superheroes were classic versions again, pretty much. Yep, and then otherwise, and. and he was able to bring back um, um, the Toy Man, the prominence. Yeah. At the expense, at the expense of um, of um, um, the, the Asian one, um, um, hero. At the expense yeah. of the hero version. Toy Man was made. The original Toy Man was made relevant. Made OG expense. again. Made OG again. I'm gonna yeah, put yeah. This, this is short hand notes. Oh, I know, I know, but I could uh, since you've done Superman Batman, I will put that in there at the expense yeah. of Hero. Uh, again, and and Hero was no more. Yeah, because they basically reveal. I'll tell you, this, they basically reveal he was a robot. More. A very convincing robot that could fool even Superman. 
But that was everything leading up to this story. This is yeah. what lead, that's everything that Jeff had done leading up to this. And that's just yeah. the Jeff John stuff. You go over the, the, the current music stuff, but that's not really relevant. Yeah. I'm pretty much gonna, gonna, gonna do the whole thing like... Well, some kind of some kind of some kind of opening that uh, that gets uh, gets people's attention and say say that this was done by this and uh, yeah, by John and happened, Frank and uh, and and then pretty much before it, getting, uh, before this happened, this happened, this happened, this happened, and this happened, and 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 that leads us to this where, where we're getting the true. What do you think? Where we get the true brainiac? Seems like mm. a lot of Jeff Johns's run was to try and fix things. Mm. <laughs> Maybe you should Yo. make that wise guy. It seems like a lot of Jeff Johns's stuff. Was to either fix things or reintroduce Joo. old elements. Joo, Geoff Jones was pretty much trying to. <laughs> Depending how you look at it, of course. Another way to make it. Classic Silver Age is modern. Yep. Which, yeah, even with Brainiac, it's no different. Joo. And that's not the only thing they reintroduce in this. Modern and this modern and this mo and modern pilkku and and this was uh, and in the, and in this story it was Brainiac's term. In addition to Superman supporting cast. Yeah. I think I'm gonna put there in the opening another note that over a year ago I did Superman and Batman videos. Right. I mean, they're not, oh, actually, relevant. It was they're not relevant. It's two just years that... ago, actually, because this video probably comes out after I have already moved, because it will, oh, it's this, a, it will take, it will take time, to, time to write this all down, and the editing mm -hmm. is probably going to take also some time. I need to get my setup taken down and then reassemble oh, yeah. at the new place. Well, this particular video is going to come out well before that. Yeah. But, um... But... Now, you see, that's interesting. The opening, you can so tell Injustice 2 took this whole cloth. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is pretty much the whole... Now, yeah. this, now, some, now what was revealed during um, the last Sun story arc was that Zod had dealt... Like, he was there when Brainiac attacked. He also dealt with the do oh, Doomsday. So you can see why... It basically gave a good explanation of why Zod would go nuts. After dealing with the, both of those and then losing Krypton, yeah, I, I basically two catastrophic failures over a perfect career and then ending with the destruction of their planet, I think mm. it would make anyone nuts, let alone or become a dictator. Yeah, we got no more and never again and so on and so on. Exactly. And yeah, people get bottled up and the whole city gets taken away. Great opening. Mm. Yeah. And look, I'll help you. I promise. City of Candor, General. It's gone. Now, they thought it was just vaporized. Oh. But see, this is then where we're inter reintroduced to Steve Lumbar and Cat Grant. Oh. Up and here's where we start to these, see the... These yep. versions of that. Because wasn't Lombar a pre-existing character? or was oh, he he's also... always been. Same with Cat. In fact, Cat, this is her big return after being in L.A. for so long after the death of her son in the 90s. Yeah. Which, this is meant to imply that her time in L.A. changed her for the worse, not the better. Including getting um, a boob job. Uh, but yeah, Steve, Steve's always been the big lummox. And, um, oh, I love this, though. The whole, like, I'm Clark Kent. We've met before. Like, from what I hear, there is no daily planet without Lois Lane. Thanks, but it's a team effort. You like teams, Lois? Ah! <laughs> you should have warned him about the chair. You lean too far back and they tip. <laughs> mm. oh. And then, but yeah, then I'm like, it's Yeah, been a this long is time. a classic yep. meme, like a, a, a recurring meme that has been online. I love this though. Like, you should raise that game LASIK. Surgery did wonder for me. I didn't know you used to wear glasses. As <laughs> if I did it. Yeah. And let's look at Clark. Just look at him. I... Yeah. Like, yeah. Out of heck? context, without revealing who the characters are, you could say this could be. 
literally it would be like many different scenarios like I love that just I love the line yeah. too bad she's like hmm mm. you're from another planet Clark that's what they tell me uh. I, I would say this the artwork here is better than how it was when he did the Superman Legion one where it felt too much like Christopher Reeve this one felt like he found a good balance by this point uh, yeah it just it... Because it's it's pretty much an art evolution style, isn't it? Because you start doing something in a one way, uh, a but the, the more you do something, the better you get at it. Oh, I love this. I think Cat's lost it. I bet she has TMZ tattooed on her butt. I don't see it. Kark! I'm kidding. <laughs> I love when someone makes a joke I'm like, I don't see it. Kark! Kidding! Yeah. Oh, yeah this, 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 this is a great yeah. image. This yeah. is a great image. And yeah. you can see both the Reeves and Kidder Porsche uh, looks, but at the same time, like I said, they don't feel like they're you know, perfectly drawn on it. It feels more like a fitting them in a comic style as opposed to it being like a, again, too much on the nose. Yeah, it's pretty yeah, pretty much, yeah. Compare it to the, those recent Superman 75, 78 comics that have come out where they are supposed to look like but, but not as not as dead on as the first seventy-eight mini. Hmm. Yeah, which now, pretty much was also a redone of this story. Yep. But um, now, of course, then we have Paul Kent. Now, this is important for what happens later on, obviously. But yeah. now, one thing I like this. One thing I like about Jeff Johns is he does not ignore what comes before. He's going to acknowledge what came before, and we already know there's been a brain exit that's been around for a long time. Mm. But as far back as the post crisis, the Brainiac. What do What do you want this time? What he doesn't realize is this is the first time actual Brainiac has made been made clear about him. Oh, so he leads to this fight and then determines that Kryptonian is there and it sends word out to the real Brainiac. Yeah, this is pretty much the, the that's the one scan that I also had to use in my. Red Sun video when talking about the yep. Brainiac's portrayal in the animated movie. Right. But um, but again, I like this idea. Now again, this doesn't need to be needed for the animated movie. That one, you don't have all the history, so you gotta be that's the first time Superman's dealing with him. Here though, you have the juggling and uh, the fact the hurdle of okay, we need to explain how can I explain the um Brainiac that's come beforehand. Mm-hmm. Oh, Supergirl looks great here. Yeah, this is pretty much like a... This is something I, I comment about, added about in my, in my Superman, Batman, Supergirl uh, your Apocalypse uh, review. Like, it's not, it's, it's not a bad costume. This, this, this is a fine costume on its own, but the fact that I, they, 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 they said in story it was made by Mark Kent, similar to how I Superman's what? costume is supposed to be made by her, her but without having met her and having perfectly measured it up to fit to fit her as well as it does. Well, to be fair, Monica has always been shown she has a good eye at figuring out girl people's measurements. But they haven't even met at any point. True, that's true. But anyway, anyway, here's what's revealed about Brainiac. And basically to sum it up is the Brainiac we've been seeing up until this point was a probe that malfunctioned and thought it was Brainiac. So everything from Milton Fine possessing it all the way up to Brainiac 13 was the same drone malfunction became too powerful. Hmm. But looking at I how like Brainiac that. is yeah, looking at how Brainiac is pretty much a collector of worlds and someone who who look, desires knowledge. Well, whatever level so even when it's going drunk, be. if it's convinced it's yeah. him, could still be just as dangerous. Yeah, it's yeah, it's basically like a yeah, a drone that that had a had the basic programming, and it then evolved into a, into an artificial intelligence and an artificial intelligence. Out, sending word out to the real deal. Yeah, because that would have made that the, the drone would have had to also oh. by doing that acknowledge that it's not the real brainiac. And to the point, one other thing that happened beforehand. There was another candor that existed. It was a different, an alien town from picked apart from different dimensions. Kurt Busiek would remove that from the board during his third Kryptonian arc. Hmm. 
to make way for Kendo to be utilized here. Hmm. I just want to point that one out. But yeah, I love this with Supergirl. Just this whole... She just starts to heat vision it because she's remembering all the dark, the bad times. Yeah. Small will pretty much made it so that the, the, the heat vision is, is somewhat controlled by emotion. Yep. Well, depends on what it, emotion. She that knows what she's being, doing. So, so. She knows what she's doing. Yeah. So yeah, so she just and of course he talks her down, and I love this. This is where we start to get more like some of the best we've seen from Supergirl because they were botching her by this point. Yeah, I remember the comments in that video that I made. They all they said a much as much about the whole portrayal of her like in the her own series that that that, that came after the yeah yeah Superman after Bat- they tried, <laughs> Jeff Lowe tried to introduce saying that oh. Zorel was uh was like the cane to Jorel's Abel, uh, K- you know, Cain Abel. Yeah, that uh, he wanted uh, he would send Supergirl there to kill Kal El, and then of course, but then he left the book after that, which then yeah. left Joe Kelly. Smallville actually even tried to uh, adapt that storyline. I remember, well, but because I grew up, I like like so many other people in the, in the, in the I was one of those people who grew up watching it. Right. I remember the storyline. I remember reading a comic after it and and, and seeing that collect, connecting those dots. Yeah, but then eventually Sterling Gates, after this, would re- would clear that up and reveal none of that was true. But up mm. until this point, they were just fumbling around what to do. Joe Kelly had a good lengthy run, and he had some good ideas, but not that well execution for Supergirl. Like for example, the whole why was he sent to kill um, Cal? It had nothing to do with being evil. It was because there were these Kryptonian go- Phantom Zone ghosts that were following him, and that they would infect Earth just like they were infecting Krypton. Hmm. So the whole point was to kill him to prevent that from happening, and then that gets resolved in some wonky way, and then later made clear that's not true. Hmm. I'm gonna put that. Their- uh, yeah, I'm gonna put a note from here that. The whole point Most is that again, of they're all, super they're all, girls history yeah. is was muddled. Was muddled. I would just if you want yeah. shorthand, just simply say muddled to say the least. Was muddled and and a mess uh, and course corrected <laughs> by this by now. Well, it was on. It was getting the ball set up the course correct after this arc. Yeah. So it was well, like, okay, it was okay, to... uh, on its way to be. On yeah. its way to be course corrected. corrected. Because Sterling Gates would do that after this arc. Yep. But I love this also. The stuff with um, Brainiac and with Clark and um, his parents. This is one of the few times where he's come to tell them, I'm heading out. Mm. And I love this. Again, Jeff Johns did a great job with Johnson and, um, and Clark. But... At the same time, you don't need this in the movie because this, the whole point of this was to lead up to a pause death. You don't need that because that's not going to happen in the movie. Yeah, but it as, was as, it, as, it was as trying as to po- yeah, but it was trying as, to follow up to those up to the the seventy eight movie and 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 it's, and it's good to and see again, it's it great was, stuff. It's great stuff, especially, yeah. uh, you know, okay, but we know that it's all meant to lead into the death, which is a part that plays in the new Krypton. Mm. It doesn't going to be a part of a force, but it's... But yeah, no, no, not for, not, they've, been, yeah, they've, yeah. Been playing, they've been playing this stuff up for a while. Like, the, this goes back to what was done in the Bizarro story. Mm. The Bizarro story was all about Pa Kent. Ah. <laughs> Lombard! But again, still being the jock. But again, that's the other big difference between this and the anime movie. In this one, you have the long history that Lois and Clark are already married. The an- the uh, anime movie, you can start from scratch and have it be that they. Well, um, I believe she's in. The, she is in the know about his identity and everything. But at the same time, like she just wants like no, no, no. She doesn't know, and she wants to know because that's the only thing keeping them separate. Hmm. That's uh, something. Um, you I look. I saw some uh, thread or something that tried to connect those 
pre-new 52 movies, some of those pre-new 52 stories to do have some kind of uh, connect, connection mm. line. And, and it would, yeah, it, it's probably it's not, but they try to make it so that Superman Doomsday would have been the first story. And that is pretty, and if that, and if that, and if that is pretty much a different art style prequel to this, then it would be that that is where they pretty much made, it was made to know, but it didn't lead to a marriage proposal yet. And it, it, and it also would have somewhat carried over to the, the Superman Batman movies because they also mentioned that Superman's death has come and gone. And the movie itself, then, if that public enemies ends with Superman reunited with Lois, who should by that point also know the whole thing. Yeah, now I just pointed out when it comes to Super, the assuming Unbound, it still has one of my favorite moments in all the anime movies. That's not in here, Lois, giving him the double bird. Ugh. And what does Brady do? He just raises an eyebrow, like. Ugh. Nah. Yeah. But um, but yeah. So Superman heads on out there to go meet up, you know, deal with them. As Brainiac is attacking another another world. They kind of look like. Hmm. They look like beast, um. Beast boy. Uh, well, Boys. that one does, but then it looks like there's different aliens. Yeah, green and blue ones. Yeah, yep. Yeah, take me to your leader. Brainiac! Boom! And you've seen the world. Um, Now, it seems like then we find out that Brainiac sends missiles towards the um, sun to blow them up. Why? Because that, that way it makes the, um, the information he has unique. Hmm. It's now, basically it's like, like one of those... Uh, remember yeah. when the... I one of I have one I have a collection that was game, that came out in 2008, which was pretty much because the Dark Knight came at the same at time time. It had mm-hmm. some classic black and white reprints of Batman stories. One of those was one of those a Golden Age story, with which was pretty much well, still a Bob game, Bill Finger story, but still, but but it still has Batman and Robin in it. It was one of those stories where there was a some kind of person uh, there, there was an artist who painted the pe- famous people or pe- uh, and so on and then the, 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 the painting would get some kind of uh, broken or 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 vandalized somehow and uh, it would have been like if 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 a, if one if one portrait would be like stabbed then the, yeah. then one then the, the one someone of that one person who was who was painted would would be killed by, by a stabbing it basically mm-hmm. it was a, it was a yeah, it was one of those Plot that the, that the, that the agent of the artist really was wanted that the artist draws a person and that person dies and the painting or the portrait its value rises. Mm-hmm. It's pretty much like Brainiac is going by the same principle. Yep, but yep, Brainiac gets his hands on Superman. Huh. Oh, this other meme, Cat is loving the attention and then. Um, hi. I got everyone's falling for her element. Uh, my next week bitch is picking up some weird plastics in your Supergirl. Oh. That's a great and well-known bit as well. Yeah, that, that's the innocently, curiously, or, or because Kara is pretty much still uh, in the in the mindset that she's still integrated to the to Earth's culture, and she and he's probably still catching you... up on some things, yeah. and this is not one of some something that she has caught up yet. Yeah, yeah, boob job. I love it. My name's not ma'am. It's not like I called you an old woman or anything, lady. I love that <laughs> line. Yeah. Especially after Tristan's all calling people ma'am. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so Lois, um, Lois meets up with her. And this is part of what eventually leads to, um, to Kat having a grudge against Supergirl, which again would play out into the series. Yeah. What the, what? Okay, let me refresh, because something's up, because I see that stuff in the background. Ah, jeez, wrong one. So apparently the issue just jumped over for some reason. Hmm. That was weird. Yeah. Anyway, oh yeah, with Superman, you know, like he, uh, it's happening to other planets, and that wakes him up, fights his way out, and oh, look at that! Oh, uh. oh, we get Coco, his uh, monkey. Yeah, 
se on Silver Age character. I yeah. guess it was a friendlier character with the Silver Age. Oh, and yeah, smart, because yeah. It's, a, it's a modern story, then it has to hear. It's a hulking like, beast. Yeah, yeah, eventually finds Kandor. Now, I love this idea that Brainiac is as strong as he is smart. At, at last, Cryptodiad. Hmm. Now, granted, I remember people complaining about this saying he looked like a Neanderthal. Hmm. Yeah, or smart or passively smart with with muscles to use. But again, yeah. I love that. Uh, yeah. If it was a Neanderthal, it would, would have, the look on his face probably would have. Well, I'm saying how bulky and big he is. Mm. It's basically strength to match su- with Superman. Because he ob- obviously analyzed Superman in going in. Yep. And of course, I know. I will be everything there has ever been, Cryptodiad. I will be evolved into perfection. Mm. Oh, the uh, this bluebird just falling as a bad omen. Oh. So basically, he yeah, explains, you know, they have a conversation back and forth, leading to a fight where, again, like, PAM! Yeah. It's also like a, a Brainiac is, is so much just tanking everything and, okay, and that, uh, just With hitting. every new planet, my power grows. Hmm. Yep. So basically, every time, that's again, his, stre- his strength is equal to his intelligence. Hmm. Kind oh, of like that. Now, uh, for, for every for every new for every new planet uh, planet I acquire, I do one push up. <laughs> Pretty much. But yeah, now where the hell, is Superman? Oh, there was some controversy with this cover. Oh, you know why? It yeah. was supposed to be beer. Having a beer with his old man. Look, they changed it to soda pop. Yeah, and then how many years later, Man of Steel came out, and Henry Cavill was just going with Budweiser. Yeah, but it's because though, I, I, it, it's just so ridiculous. Everyone going like, really? Yeah, not to mention, <laughs> alcohol doesn't even affect Superman much. You know, again, it's just like, it's just the son having a beer with a brewski with his old man. What's wrong with that? Yeah, yeah not to mention, it, it, it probably is just. It doesn't affect him. It might as well be like he, he might as well be drinking water at this point. Yeah. So or some well, spicy I, water with bu- bubbly water. So. I love the coloring. How it makes Brainiac ship stand out with its metallic shine. Mm, yeah, it's it's a this is a dark spot uh, uh, ne- next to the, uh, surrounded by the colorful surroundings. Yep. All right there, like uh, with the the, the, the drone. But yeah, Supergirl's having a breakdown for good reason. I don't get why. I, it's yeah, PTSD. it's PTSD. But yeah, like, where is he? They have some kind of force field. Your, your heat vision didn't. Lois, go! Yeah, she's going to do all she can. She's not running away. Meanwhile, while they're fighting it out, and um, yeah, he's just taunting him. What are you he's going to take from, their, uh, from the haunted world, from his um, adopted world and everything? Hey, I know this is just something else. What? Brainiac's face. Is that... Based on some perfect. I don't, some think, different I don't perfect. think this one. I don't think in this. No, one but it, I think compare it to some like any Lex Luthor that Gary Frank has also drawn. Yeah, no, well, very much like 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 his Lex Luthor. You're right about that. Hmm. But yeah, I just love when he's going for us to bite something off to zap him. Hmm. The Goku method. All right. Inflicting pain on others doesn't seem to bother you. It bothers me, usually. So he grabs Crypt and Candor, but um, oh, he doesn't know what to do with the other planets. Oh, and then there's Zorel and Allura. How did they get there? Well, it's combining Supergirl, the Argo City stuff, with Brainiac. Where apparently they went out to Argo City, but then they eventually sent a distress call for help. Brainiac picked it up and grabbed the people from there and brought them back into Candor. Huh. So try and combine the two. So they were elsewhere. So they, they, they were there. They left there, and then the oh, Brainiac. No. They, fought. Were, they weren't. In, they, they were. Yeah, they were originally in Candor. Then they, but they were away then when they was bottled, and that way they could be able to send Supergirl out in the space. 
and then they did the Argo City idea. After that, they eventually um, Brainiac came by and scooped them up. Hmm. That way, you can have them still be the ones that send out um, Supergirl, you know, when Kent, when Krypton was exploding, but still have them be able to get on board with um, the ship. Okay. I'll they reach it out while, while right. I'm also going through this myself while doing the whole commentary. Right. But again, stuff like this is not needed for the movie. But here, it's yeah, this is where they redefine a lot of her origin or give yeah. more context. They give more context for it. Yeah, in the movie, they just needed to establish that who they are and they, and, and exactly. that's pretty much it. And Brainiac was involved. Hmm. But yep, big fight as Crypt and Metropolis has been can, um, contained into, obviously to separate it from the others, into a triangular bottle. Mm. I don't, that's super bad. Super. There is nothing super about you. Not like me. Mm. So, yep. And Earth will be incinerated just like Krypton. And here's was, this a, was this one of those other retcons that, that would have tied Brainiac into uh, actually, from, I understand, from what I understand, he normally does that with other planets. It's what the least to think that, but then he later revealed um, Krypton was doomed anyway. So, because otherwise, because look what happened. He sends the missile out, it caused an instantaneous detonation. Here, so in the case that Macandor and Krypton still had a good couple of years left. So it's basically a case where he came by, scooped him up, but he knew they're going to die. It's going to die anyway. I don't need to do anything. Hmm. Okay. So, yeah. Supergirl's ready to be experimented on. Um, Jonathan's trying to tell Mark, you know, trying to get all the cows back inside. Like, Superman. Just Lois is trying to call out to him, saying, you know, we need you. And he busts out. And, oh, that whole big, putting his fingers into the different holes. Mm. You are a simple brute when I need to be. So, yeah, and basically he's grabbing um, Kandor and, Metro and uh, Metropolis, saying we got to get him out there. Um, I'm not fast enough. Yes, you are. I I'm scared. It's okay to be scared. I love that look of determination. Mm. She's like... Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Not to mention that the whole that, okay, be scared. That's that. That's is that back when I was. You need to hear. Yeah, That's yeah, a phrase yeah. you need yeah, to hear. Yeah, it is. That's also like one of those uh, one of the famous quotes that John Pertwee had when he was playing the Third Doctor. Mm -hmm. Courage is not about being af not being afraid. It's about being afraid and doing what you need to do anyway. Yep. Um, fear is not weakness, and courage is not strength. I think is a line from uh, Camelot. Mm. And sure enough, as on out there, your cousin's actions are futile. She will be incinerated along with Earth. We'll see. No, I will see. You will die, Earth man. No, he calls him an Earth man now because he's acknowledging. Do you think you are of Earth? Fine. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, and then. Now, in the movie, this brings about his death. Yeah, because they probably didn't have any plans to do, use Brainiac anymore. Because in the status quo continuity, it's, it, Brainiac is still would be another writer can use the character. Jeff Johns could have some later plans to use him. Whereas but in, movie, in an animated movie... But it doesn't make sense for him to blow up because of all this bacteria. Yeah, it's basically the sensory overload. Well, yeah, but still, though, uh, here, though, it makes, like, welcome to Earth, Brain. But I love that. I love it. He's basically been in a clean room all of his life. Hmm. Yeah, sensory overload, or or maybe that's the... And it's, you can't no, face... no immune system to any, to any of these bacteria. Look at, this. look at this. You can't face things you can't control, can you? Welcome to Earth. Huh. And then... <clears throat> Oh, but then here's the other thing. He sends a missile to um to to, to um the Kent's house. <laughs> Don't even think about it, Lombard. Like, huh? yeah. Oh, but then, boom! 
Kara's dealing with one thing, with the one missile. Superman's yeah. trying to get everyone, like, Metropa's there, and now uh, Kandor's ready to um, re uh, open. But then, while Krypton, all this is happening, he can't hear anything, because you're like, like, it's a big explosion, he's so excited. Clark! Clark! She can't, he can't hear her until oh, finally... Yeah. Yeah, this is a powerful and a, and a very sad moment. Ah. Truly, it is. Ah. Which would lead into the new Krypton. But again, I can see why they, you want to end on a happy note. Mm. Yeah. Hold on. There's something else then. Hold on. The. Um... Because the new Krypton special is kind of an epilogue. So I like that you include that into this. So, ah, darn it. That's not it. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to add it to the review because I obviously need to, it's been a to what, yep. uh, do that back and forth in that review part. Yep, hold on, hold on. He just, I'm just going to show, because it shows the funeral, which again, it's imp I just want to show that for here, because just look at this artwork. Hmm. No words. Yeah, but to mention, this was not done with it. Usually, when they do these funeral sad scenes, they they're usually done with like over dramatized with with rain and 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 at night. This is start like at dusk when it's uh, in fall. Yeah, but look at this. And it's cloudy. Now he's not actually doing this to break. That's his dream. Now see, look at this. I think it's also the coloring on the other arc that helped because here the coloring. Makes him look a bit too much. I think the coloring worked before because look at it here. Yeah, this is like the it's trying to imitate real life. The real and life does, and does make him look more like Reeves. Mm, yeah, and this is yeah. There's it's it's paler and more. Or the, okay, Superman's okay. His skin looks paler, but and, and the and the and the colors were like fader, more faded. Exactly. Oh, that was great. But yeah, then that leads to the sub. I just want to show this part. Hmm. But yeah, so that was pretty much Superman Brainiac. And I, I, that's one of my favorite Superman arcs. Not my all-time favorite, but definitely up there because they did a lot. A whole lot. Again, the fact is so much of Jeff Johns' run was to fix things. Hmm. Or and it works. And that's why I feel hmm. unbound deserves to be its own story. The anime movie, it's more about telling the fundamentals of the Brainiac story without any of the, we need to fix this, we need to fix that. It's like, no, strip that from it. Yeah. Don't, 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 don't was, do the yeah. Paul Kent stuff because you don't need it. You want to end on a happy note. Yeah. Not to with Supergirl also, it, 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 it's pretty much also like trying to follow up from her, from the Supergirl, the, the Supergirl apocalypse story story movie. To an agree, to but show, not to show like her life after it and, and and build up to that characterization she also has. Again, yeah, but again, it's a completely different um thing. By the way, you know that the, uh, Molly Quinn was the daughter character in um yeah um um. um yeah, I know. I, yeah, yeah, it's yeah in Castle. He, he was Nathan Castle, Fillion's yeah, so character. So you're Cadic and Molly. So you're just like, hey. Yeah. It's fitting. Yeah. Nathan Fillion probably wasn't good not to good, use because he has he so many other projects already. And... and I don't think he'd be a good Superman. Mm, yeah. He doesn't have that voice for a Superman. Yeah, no character to use to, to, to give it to him. Yeah, but having those two still, I think, work. And again, Stina Kittick is one of the better Lois Lanes, in my opinion. Yeah. Eventually, but, um, when I get to re get to rewatch the movie after I get the whole thing written down, then right. pretty then then I pretty much get to uh, get to do that do that comparison and how it how well it matches. But up. I definitely would emphasize that like a lot of the story is clearly Jeff John. You know, it's the, it shows why Jeff John is a master of fitting in with comics history. But you can also say on its own like it's a bonus if you're a longtime fan. But at the same time, it also works if you're a newbie. Yeah. There were also like, like, like before the whole before, yeah it was also with the DCU was also the whole thing that before the David Zaslav put 
James Gunn and, and Saffron in charge of it. They, and before Henry Cavill yeah. was let go to do war, yeah. to do Warhammer, they, 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 the, the people who were excited about the whole Man of Steel sequel that we, Kevin could have had, that it would have been some kind of version of this story. Well, there's t- well, there is still talk that the gun version is still going to have Brainiac in it. Yeah, so it's pretty much going to be like that story, but refitted for well, that. And, and, also, uh, not Morrison, and also it brings up all the all others. Grant Morrison also did that too in his new 52 action comics run. Yeah, I remember. That was a whole Brainiac was in a, so a blockbuster. Basically, this story set the groundwork for a good Brainiac story that hasn't been that hadn't been done this way before, and mm. but now it's been overused a bit. Mm. Because it was, yeah, me. because this story was yeah, it, it was used in the Grant Morrison run, and it was then it was in also refitted. It was it was refitted for the Superman seventy eight comic and. Mm-hmm. Yeah, basically, because up until this point, Brainiac had been a character, yeah, but he didn't do the Bottle City stuff during post-crisis. Pre-crisis did, but even then, he hadn't done that for a long time. So this, Mm. again, was the first one to lay the groundwork of him bottling up Metropolis, Superman having to stop him and everything. So yeah, that's one important thing about it, which is why I feel the Unbound movie, taking the key elements from this, is makes that's why I feel that movie stands on its own very well because you can just remove there's the elements you keep the fundamentals, but then you can remove the stuff that's not needed. Yeah, it's kind of like how the something I I, I compare the between Throne of Atlantis and that 2018 Aquaman movie like it all it like yeah it, that's pretty much they took the they took the fundamentals and made the story its own yeah. But since it's not written by Jeff Johns, it makes it a very different story compared to mm. Under the Hood and um, um, what's so bad? Uh, yeah, yeah, versus yeah. the elite, versus the elite. Mm. Which I think that's a good comparison you can make. Actually, though, it's similar to those two in that you know, in that it's mm. taking like a story that either was really long or really short, and either expanding or trimming it. And in this case, though. It's taking a story that was very lore heavy and condensing it down to its fundamentals. Yeah, because if, if it was trying to be one to one with the whole thing, it would have also you, like, you like they had to pretend you... like it, those other stories you mentioned, the Toy Man and and Legion of Superheroes and Brainiac and those had Bizarro. I'm sorry, sorry, Bizarro had happened before it and so on and so on and so on and so on or the fact that there was already another brainiac beforehand and all that's like you don't need that you because you, mm. you can just cut that part out that was done for the long time lore you could just trim that out and it'd be mm. this is the first time superman's meeting brainiac period not the real yeah. brainiac or in the case yeah. of supergirl the actual just... brainiac who was the what was that real docs that's real that's Doc. brainiac's name yeah, dogs, the actual so real docs one. Not only that, though, but you also, even with Superman and Lois, you don't have to have them be married. You could actually play that up here. Now, having her be, being to know on the secret or not, you could juggle that if you want. Mm. I mean, it worked in Superman Doomsday. Yeah, where, it, where she was in a secret relationship with Superman who didn't, didn't know the, let her in. She does out. know the identity and Unbound. He's just, but uh, it feels like, what, like they, she feels like the relationship has stalled. Mm. That's what it was in that one. She feels like the relationship has stalled and Superman's being a little controlling. Now that's a new element added in, but I feel it does give a good parallel between him and Brainiac. Oh. Superman's trying to control that which he can't no control over. Hmm. But yeah, so yeah. and then again, the Supergirl stuff is perfectly fine as it is. Yeah, and, 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 and looking at what and, and basically being that it 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 doesn't acknowledge how she has managed to make a, attempt to integrate into the human society, nope. but 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 so far it's just how, how she exists as Supergirl and has no. made made that made that beginning of her superhero career. Yeah, hell, I. Is Cat Grant in the movie? Uh, let me check. Is Cat? Um, no, and you don't need Cat. You could use Lombard. Yeah. But, you but Steve, Kat. yeah, Steve Lombard is there. 
Yeah, you don't, but you don't need cat at all. And hell, you don't mm -hmm. even need the, again, you don't need the Paul Kent stuff because you want to end on a happy note. You don't need um, um, new, new Krypton to happen. Yeah, but it pretty much shows that because the, I remember the movie ends with uh, Kandor being made big being again. Restored, and, but, but and, 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 the, and all the Kandorians, Kandorian Kryptonians being well, being on Earth. And that's no, pretty no, much no, the movie there. was on another planet. The movie was on another planet. Okay, I need to re watch that then. I'm looking with the people. Because the yeah, yeah, because because uh, because the new Krypton storyline that came after it, because it, Superman yeah. played it on Earth in the in well, the main he had no comic. choice. He had they, no choice. Yeah, yeah. They they they, they coexisted with the humanity for uh, for yeah. a time until the tensions and, between well, them caused caused the new Krypton to go to the opposite side of the sun. But yeah, basically though, he uh, in the movie you don't need to have a be uh oh he has to lay it down here on earth like no no he doesn't have to do that he can move it somewhere else hmm. again what they change in the movie i feel is a mostly good changes mostly hmm. so like i said it's taking the giving us the fundamentals and trimming the stuff that again the lore heavy stuff is that a good way of putting it trimming the lore heavy stuff yeah because those usually because unless they are important to the story itself, then they, yeah, then they can be cut. Because that story doesn't need to be a sequel to all those other stories. Yeah, you don't need it. You want it to be a nice standalone done in one. Mm. And there's enough in the story, the comic story, to make it a self-contained done in one. Mm. So yeah. Not as long as our Under the Hood story of co uh, video, of course, but mm -hmm. I think we got through a lot of what we needed to. I mean, is there any other questions you want to ask? Anything else or any other points? Not that I can think of, but I, to, I suppose I can just go through my notes and if you uh, and see how what I did that, okay. Starts yeah. with uh, two years ago, I did the Superman Battle videos after the Infinite Crisis, the Superman got the powers back. After yep. Jeff Johnson Red Card had reintroduced through Zor, it was Chris Kent, Bizarro Superman, they stole him yeah, 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 in his own in his own yeah. way to fix things and in by this story way, it was playing yeah. turn. and by the way you brought about the whole you know uh, black manta being brought in you know, because i was just john the thing i like black manta in the aquaman movie uh, yeah i it was the very much but the character was used the character behind the Black Manta was pretty much used, uh, but, the, but the whole Black Manta, Manta as, a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as the character wearing the mantle on its own, that was pretty much pushed in and pulled out to be, uh, to be properly true. utilized in the sequel. I, probably, maybe I explain, explain it uh, not, not, well, I not you that well. one bit was like, Jeff Johns made me put him in. I'm sorry. Yeah. When I saw that, I was like, is that a, is that a pot shot? Mm. I was just asking. I said I personally like. Yeah, this kind, of, kind of kind of showed up, but but it it was some it was maybe something that I heard somewhere and I and I added it in as a as a visual visual gag because no, as I a, gotcha. not confirmed. Gotcha. If if it's something I say straight uh, straight up in the script, then it it's probably I I try to present as a fact. If it's a background gag, it's a it's a maybe may, maybe not. Right. No, I understand. I understand. I was just bringing. Oh, but again, Lois here I thought was good. Not some of the best I've seen Jeff handle Lois, but it was still some decent was Lois. She didn't feel like the load. And at least when she needed rescuing, everyone needed rescuing. Mm. Would you agree with that? Like, yeah, at least, yeah she need, everyone needed rescuing here. Yeah. It's, and, yeah, yeah, it was properly balanced, balanced in, the, in that sense. But again, but that, like I said, the movie always. Yeah. Again, nothing's going to yeah, top because, that. Yeah, it, it could also be compared to the, the whole thing that... The movie versions are younger, not and not a married couple, so they, so they have that younger not energy the in end. them. Not the end. Yeah, yeah, not until the end, so that they have 
that potential, uh, 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 that energy in them. Yeah, exactly. And but again, overall though, it's not. And this this is also a very good comic. And like I said, the movie I feel is a very good movie. Mm. So yeah, that's pretty much all we have to say on this one. Thank you for joining yeah. me, Pika. Glad to help you out with your stuff. Yeah. We'll... Now I can properly start writing yep. this whole thing down. Yep. And for the record, as of this recording, and as used by time of you guys seeing this video, he and I will have done a Christ on Infinite Earth video, uh, um, video that get him ready for that monster. You know, monster. Yeah. I'm still yep. working on that video, that script's opening to, to get that before I get yep. to the commentary. Which yep, I also need to then yep. consent. Yep. And I will say this: that whole and what do you see about the fact that they're closing the door on the Tomorrowverse already? If I think they probably realized where they're go they were going down the same route they did with the DC original animated orig original animated universe, and realized let's just end it here. Mm. Yeah, you know, well, I bet that that, that 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 feel like that way because if you look at it, it was even more disjointed compared to um, the previous one. So I think they yeah. realize we're just repeating yeah. ourselves. Yeah, especially some more some stories that they also at least in those movies that I have I watched they they pretty much acted like some bigger stories that could have be could have also been the movies themselves happened probably off screen. Yeah. Oh well. Okay. Anyway. So yeah, and that's all we've got on this on talking about this one. Thank you guys for joining. See you guys on the next one. And may you hold your wedding key.